Have you ever looked at a stopwatch and notice how the numbers appear to change on the left side as the numbers to the right cycle 0 through 9 over and over and over again? Well, this is an example of place value. So what is place value? Well, place value is the value of a digit according to its position in a given number. Like for example, in the number 462, the 6 is in the tens place. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Take a look at this place value chart. We'll work up to the 100 millions place. See each box in this chart? Going from right to left, we have 1s, 10s, 100s, 1,000s, 10,000s, 100,000s, 1 millions, 10 millions, and 100 millions. Now you'll notice a pattern here, 1s, 10s, 100s, 1s, 10s, 100s, and how every three boxes is classified a little differently. Now this section is normal 1s, 10s, 100s, this section the thousands, and this one the millions. Let's take a little step back. So our number system has 10 digits, right? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And each number place or each of these boxes in our place value system can hold up to nine groups, right? Like for example, we can't technically have 10 groups of 10 because it would just be 100, right? Because 10 groups of 10, which is 10 times 10, is 100. Now each group or box is bigger than the previous one by 10 times, okay? So 10 ones is 10, 10 tens is 100, and so on. Let's take a look at some examples. Let's say we have nine basketballs. Now if we were to place nine on our place value chart, we would put nine in the ones place here. But what if we had 49 basketballs? If we were to place 49 in our place value chart, four would go in the tens place and nine in the ones place. You can also think of it like four groups of 10 with nine groups of one, right? Or just 40 plus nine. Now with big numbers, we can already tell where to place the start of the number by how it's called out. For example, 349. See how I said 300? So three goes in the hundreds place, followed by four, and then nine. Now if I were to say 349,000, now where does this number go? That's right, 349,000 starts in the thousand section. Or what if I said 349 million? Well now we start with the hundred millions place. Something to note as well, as we get into bigger numbers, we need to make sure we separate each section with a comma, so every three places to the left. Now notice how each comma separates each section or category, that being the normal ones, tens, hundreds, and then thousands, millions, and so on. Now when writing a number word, we typically want to use a hyphen with the tens and ones place, no matter where it is. And we also use commas in the word as we would when writing out the number. For example, if we had 283,463,349 basketballs, here's how we would write it out. 283,463,349. Well, hey, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit subscribe next to that like button, and I'll catch you in the next one. God bless you guys.